Hello coders, in this How to Code Well PHP tutorial, I'm going to show you how to get the first key from an array. We're going to use a function that is pretty new in PHP 7. It is array key first. So let's dive into the code. So the first thing I'm going to do is create a variable called names. I'm going to equal that to an array with the elements of Peter and the second element is Fisher. Okay, so I want to get the first key from this array. Now we're going to use a function called array key first. This is, as I mentioned, a PHP 7 function. So let's type that out. So array underscore key and then first. Before I add the argument to this function call, I'm just going to open up the documentation to show you what it can do. So I'm going to control click this and then we can see the documentation here. So it gets the first key of an array. Get the first key of an array of a given array without affecting the internal array pointer. This PHP function has come into play since PHP version 7.3. This is a link to the documentation. I do recommend you check it through. It will return a string, an integer or null. So it returns the first key of an array if the array is not empty, null otherwise. Okay, and we supply the array that we want to get the key from. So let's go ahead and go into the code and start playing with this function call. As previously mentioned, this will return the key. So we need to assign the return value to a variable. So let's get a variable called key and we're going to equal that to array key first. We're gonna pass in the variable of names into here. Because the return of this function can be many different things, we're going to use a var underscore dump to print out the variable and its type to the page. So on line four, let's type a var underscore dump and then pass in key like so. Okay, let's now run the browser and see what we get. If you go to array underscore key underscore first dot PHP in your browser, you'll see an output similar to this. Don't worry too much about this file path. This is obviously the file path on my machine here. Yours will be certainly different to mine. However, you'll still have this line number, which is four. This is the data type which is an integer, an int, and this is the value that's coming back. So this is printing out, this is dumping, this is dumping the variable. This is what var dump does. And it's saying that on line four, we have an integer with the value of zero. Now, of course, we're using a standard default array in the sense that the keys are generated for us. It's an indexed array. What happens though, if this is an associative array? So let's go back to the code and create ourselves an associative array and see what the difference is in the return. So before I play around with the code, let me just explain what an associative array is. This is an indexed array because the index starts from zero and then we have one. The index is automatically generated for us for every element in this array, for every element in this array, the index is incremented by one. However, with an associative array, we can control the keys ourselves by having strings instead of integers. So let me copy this and paste it down here. We're going to change this to be names asoc, and we're going to have this as keys asoc, as well as the output like so, keys a sock and then names a sock here. Now this is still an indexed array. Let's change this to an associative array. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put these on new lines like so. Now these are the values of course. What we need to do is manipulate the keys. So to do that, we define our keys like so, as strings. Then we have a space, an equal symbol, and then a greater than symbol. Okay, this portion is the key, this portion is the value. So, 
the key here is going to be first underscore name and the key for this one is going to be last underscore name okay so now this is an associative array this is still an indexed array so let's go and print this out to the screen save your work and then go back into the browser and refresh the page okay so this is the output i have made it a little bit smaller so it can fit on the screen again we have the file paths like so but notice that this is running against line 11 whereas this is on line 4. this has a data type of an integer this has a data type however of a string the first key is the first name so let's just quickly recap the code this is an indexed array an array of names automatically we have an index of zero and one this however is an associative array here we are defining our own keys and then we're calling array underscore key function in both line three and line 10 and we're dumping them out here and here so this will be zero and this will be first underscore name if you found this video tutorial useful then please do let me know give it a thumbs up and also make sure to subscribe to get the other courses and tutorials that I have if you've got any coding questions of course then please don't hesitate to ask but do ask them on the discord server to get that go to howtocodewell.net forward slash discord and whilst you're there check out the other courses and tutorials that I have for web development thank you ever so much for watching happy coding everybody I'll see you in the next tutorial. Cheers. Bye.